Well, hello world. What's happening today? Today, on my end of the world, I'm going to be doing a little bit of walk around of my new ride. I decided that uh, I needed to get a new ride that was a little bit bigger than what I have and uh, bigger than my daily driver. And knowing me, you know, I like Hondas. That's a given. And uh, I need all wheel drive capabilities and all that kind of good stuff, a good winter ride. So I got a CRV. Yes, indeed. I picked up a 2001 CRV. Um, got a pretty decent deal on it. Yeah, of course, I'm sure you guys recognize that. I don't even want to talk about that. <laughs> but, uh, eh. <coughs> It's in pretty decent shape, uh, other than a couple of dents and dings here and there, and it needs a really good detailing. And it's basically bone stock. Um, of course, uh, the people that had it before me, you see it's pretty, pretty grummy. <clears throat> this lady li literally lived on the top of a mountain um, in the woods. So you can imagine vehicles setting in the woods, you know, how, how they get. I mean, there's, there's pine needles in the daggone door jams and the trunk latch and all that good stuff. So a, a lot of a lot of cleaning. Got to do a lot of cleaning, but let's take a look at the interior. It's a really, really, I'm not even going to lie. This is the dirtiest Honda I've ever had in my life. And you all know, when you buy a used Honda, you get it in a really terrible condition. Unless you buy one from me, then you ain't gonna do nothing to it. <laughs> it's always clean. <laughs> but, as you can see, it's it's pretty dirty. I did get a five speed, so that's always good. <laughs> Ow! Yeah, I gotta get used to this whole door locking thing. Oh, there it is. Okay. <laughs> All right. so, yeah, I mean the back is not too bad but they had kids in here before and you can see they've spilled stuff all over the seats I got an air freshener going there because it smells bad <laughs> hey, yeah these things actually work so that's pretty cool yeah so not too bad back here Yep, and it still has the table. Isn't that something? <laughs> That's pretty cool. But plenty of room. I can put the stroller in here. Uh, you know, the wagon when we take you places and all that good stuff. And uh, let's see. I do believe. I think this is actually supposed to have road flares or triangles or something in it. But I don't have any of those, but that's okay. But check this out. See the pine needles and stuff. I mean, it, ugh, and stuff's everywhere. Figure I'd do a good walk around. Basically, just to show you how dirty this thing is because there is a local uh, business here that does auto detailing inside and out. And I have an appointment to get this thing detailed inside and out. So, this is kind of like going to be a before and after video from it being detailed. Oh geez, and there's cobwebs in here. Yeah. That's pretty dirty. Uh, yeah, pretty dirty seat. But oh yeah. Is that thing still work? Oh my goodness, that's dirty. That's terrible. I tried to peel that sticker off there, but you can see the old crappy window tent. <laughs> it started cutting into the window tent real good. <coughs> So I quit scraping on it. I have an appointment on a couple weeks from now. Get the windows tinted, so I'm gonna have the windows retinted. And, you know, whatever the legal limit is, of course, is what I'm gonna do. But uh, yeah, it's not too bad. <clears throat> of course, the glove box still works. And I don't know if anybody watching this video has ever had one of these CRVs, and have ever changed the cabin air filter it's terrible it's terrible you have to take the glove box out 
and then literally the thing that the glove box is mounted on it's like a like a bracket uh, you have to get in behind there and take six bolts out to get that bracket out of the way to be able to get to the filter so and let me tell you here let me tell you what I will show you the filter I took out of there I can almost guarantee you this thing is what came with this thing from the factory let's see if I can get this thing out of here oh my god well it kind of unfolded a little bit on me but look at that that's terrible isn't it Ugh. I turned the heat on the night that I brought it home and my god it smells so bad I dealt with the cold on the rest of the way home it was just awful just awful there you have it that's what's going on in vlogs by Westworld so I haven't posted anything in a while but uh, so that's good what's going on so uh yeah so I guess we'll just kind of uh, switch having this thing afterwards after being detailed. 